I can't fuck with no anybody. Nah, nigga, you, you just saying it. Help yourself. They're not happy with me. Darker truth. Thank you to the darker truth for letting me cook this bitch. Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. Um. <laughs> Peace. What a wonderful Sunday day. Sunday it is. I can honestly say I appreciate the conversation that's happening right now. I can't comment in many rooms where it's actual silence with someone speaking. Uh, and there's like equal exchange of men talking in positive ways, of ways of substance and not just bullshit or rhetoric. So I appreciate the house and the vibes on this Sunday. I see somebody in the chat and they said it's not true. They get the job before you. What makes you think that that's true? That's that's, that's not true. Like that, that's not a, true. that's another false narrative that a white man would get the job before you do. That's not true. Uh, I want I want to respond to that. I want to respond to that. You got to understand something. First of all, black people own one percent of America's wealth. That means that they own the the rest of the things they own. They set the narrative. They play the game. They set the bar of what you need, your qualifications and all of these things. And people graduate on the scale like no other. And they tell you you need bachelors, masters, and then you go back and get those things. Okay, you need to go get something else. You need to go get this. Whether you was underqualified, now you go back and you try to get the job. Now you're overqualified because now you're a threat to take the person's job. When they're just a character and a shave away from getting the things that they want. There's more black people that are college graduates that are not working in their fields and they in debt trying to pay off things that that they don't, you know, that, that they got set in line for because they wanted to go work in their fields. Our kids start off in kindergarten with a colorful classroom with the biggest imagination and you ask them, what do you want to be when you grow up? And as they get older, the classroom get more dull. And doesn't cater to the child's imagination because it was somebody's imagination. The, the the great inventors of black people, it was their imagination that created these things. It started with imagination, and they spoke it into existence and made it happen. So this system actually is designed the white man, the, the black man of his superpowers, and it goes further. Is is we back on the job before as you say that that we uh, fear them. As I said, they fear we fear who they pretend to be. And they fear who we really are. That's why they got to they got to pretend to be something to water down who we really are. Prime example, the Wizard of Oz. This whole time, everybody is scared of this damn wizard, only to find out he's just a man behind the curtain. He's just a measly man. He's nothing. In most cases, yes, the white man will get the job before the black man, and he had to do, jump through hurdles just to do the half things. They're not going to liberate you. They can be your best friend. They can work with you. They can help you. They can do whatever they can. But but a white man will not, a white person will not liberate your people. It will never happen. Our liberation is in our own hands. Okay, so let me respond to that. So again, a lot of a lot more false narratives and bad bad context that really parse through the data is really one percent of the population that owns ninety percent of the real estate has nothing to do with just black people specifically, right? And when you start to pay attention to that, it's really institutional investors. When you look at culture, right, you have to understand, we're the only culture that think that we have to be responsible for everybody within our culture. So for example, if you talk to most white people, especially those that are successful, they don't fuck with other white people that's not culturally aligned with them. So poor white people is not really getting fucked with by rich white people, it's cultural. When you start to parse through the data even more and you talk about your bachelor's degree, okay, so let's go, to, let's go into that. If we use black women, for example, they're overly the most enrolled but the most in debt. Why is that? Because they go into fields that's not ideal. When you start to pay attention to Indian cultures, when you start to pay attention to Pakistan, when you start to pay attention to Asian cultures and how it is that they groom their children, they push them into specific fields that's, that would allow for them to not actually have that much debt, but at, at the same time, have a higher upside of how much they're making. We know statistically that even if you raise in a two two parent household, you having a bachelor's degree would also make sure that you in, that that you make at least over a million dollars a year from somebody that just have a high school diploma. Well, the extra context in that is that most people that are successful with these bachelor's degrees also go into STEM fields. They go into healthcare. They go into information technology. When I was in college, I didn't have 
anybody that looked like me inside of my, my classroom that was going into software engineering. Why? Because we'd rather go into college and it's really indoctrination camps for us to go and have fun and then go and party instead of us for going studying. So when you start to ha add the context into these conversations, you have to look at it culturally also from the perspective of the people that's actually investing in these institutions and the people that are enro enrolled. It's not as simple as just saying black and white. You also have to understand that most Asian people do not allow for their children and won't even fund for their children or allow for their children to take out student loans if they're not going into a field that's going to yield at least six figures when they coming out of the college. As a matter of fact, most Asian people that come over here, and how do I know this? Because I'm actually in the banking and I've been in the banking industry for over 20 years. What they usually do is that they work the jobs because they don't have the opportunities that we have when they come over here. And so they create a job for themselves by opening up a restaurant. They don't pass that down to their children. What they wind up doing is working that job and they work it. They don't hire nobody else. They just work it. They don't take vacations. Usually they take two weeks off go back to their homeland and come back and work the fuck out of that job so that they can put their kids through college and they don't even get the Pell Grants, they don't get the student loans, they don't get any of that. As a matter of fact, most times they have to pay out of country tuition, which is significantly higher than out of state tuition. And what happens is they put them kid, their kids in a position to where they don't have to work that job, they sell the restaurant, they retire, and they make the sacrifice in order for their kids to be more successful. So when you start to talk about cultural, you can't just break it down by black and white. You have to look at all of the data, the, the statistics, the fields that we choose, our cultural norms, how it is that we look at debt, how it is that we evaluate whether or not we're a cultural fit. We don't understand sales. We don't understand technology. We don't understand anything outside of entertainment, and that's the thing that we promote the most. So when you start to have these conversations, you got to have it in truth. It's not based off of how you feel. It's based off of what the data is telling us. But okay. Anton, are you? Are, one second, I won't be long gone. Um, are you trying to say there's no such thing as white privilege? There isn't. Because even places like Asia, Pakistan, there's still white privilege over there. You know, they if, really, if they're there, serious about it as well. If there's white privilege, then how come they're only slightly ahead of us in the census of the average household income? No. How come, he, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Right, if there's right, white right. privilege, then how come, listen, the white man is the most unpopular person on the face of the fucking planet today. That is a fact. Anywhere you go, you if you are a white man, you are an asshole by default. You can't even show your face or eat. they can't even have the same conversations as us. I could say some egregious shit about a white person and, and ain't nobody going to say nothing about it. They can't say shit about me or it's going to be a, they, they stick on their head going to be on a stick. Okay. okay I'm going to respond to what you said earlier. What you said earlier, you was talking about them getting jobs. That's what we were talking about as far as like will they get the job over you. It's been proven thousands of times where well, black people have millions of stories of this. This is not emotional. This is actual factual. For a man to say that there's no such thing as white privilege, he have to be a blind person. Um, and secondly, I understand there's some things you said that was true and some things that was off prime example about black people going to party in numbers. There are black people who graduate at the highest capacity, the highest you know, there's black people that go and get the job done and say, yet yeah, they're not working in their field. I know plenty of people that do this. That's the, that's our statistics. Now, as far as like Chinese people, they practice group economics where um, we need to be doing it. And I do agree with that. We worry about everybody else but ourselves. We're not together. That's one thing I do agree with you on, because I feel like if we buy black, sell everybody else, practice group economics where our money can circulate in our community at least 13 times before leaving it, then I'm with that. But to sit here and just say white privilege don't exist, that's blind. Of course, you could say what you want because they're just words, but they got action. And again, when you say things like that as far as cultural, you got to understand what do black people own in America? The America's wealth, what do we own? We don't own anything. So we can't control how their kids go to school. We can't control the narratives. We can't control what you have, to, the requirements to even work a job. We, can, we don't control any of those things. So to just say that, that all of these things and white privilege is, is, white privilege is, is like don't exist, that's absolutely crazy to even say that. White privilege 100% exists and it's shown every single day. You didn't Everything. prove that it exists in any part of that conversation that you just had. All of, okay, that okay. You said let was me based prove it. Let me prove it. Okay, let me. No, let, it's let, not me a, let me just ask you a let question. Just okay. when you prove it, let me ask you a quick question. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. Well, Listen. well, I, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna be patient because I, I wanted to. Have no, no, no. I wanna, I wanna answer your question. I, I, I want you to. I want you to.